A world has been upended and transformed. The pandemic has reshaped almost every aspect of our lives. Even how we mourn and bury our loved ones has changed. With masks to cover our faces, physical distance between us, funerals seem to bear a greater weight of sadness. No longer are we able to hold each other close nor lean upon each other. It seems to sharpen our grief and makes consoling the mourner all the more difficult. Limiting the number of people who could attend funerals or shivas has meant that many who wish to be present, to grieve together, to comfort one another, are not able to do so. The gathering together as families, friends, and community at funerals has been disrupted, and there's a void, an emptiness. And yet, even as our rituals have been transformed, our sense of community transcends all of this. We have remained a community of families and friends who care and wish to support one another through our loss and our grief. The restrictions necessary to limit the impact of the pandemic has not robbed us of our connection to one another. It has not stolen from us the memories that have been forged, the bonds that have been shaped, the knowledge that though we stand apart, we are still joined one to another. Thus, we set aside this time to remember those members of our Cincinnati Jewish community who have died from August 1st, 2019 through July 31st, 2020. As their names appear on our screens, we know that each was a unique and sacred person whose lives touched the lives of others. Some of the names may be familiar, others not, but all speak to a sense of community, of belonging to something larger than ourselves. As we see their names, we remember their lives and know that while we are lessened by their death, our community was enriched by their lives. In this act of remembrance, we affirm that death cannot take that which is locked in our hearts. With our tears and our sorrow, we remember. With our courage and our strength, we do not forget. Acts of kindness, deeds of courage will remain. Beauty created, wisdom shared, is not lost. With our tears, in our sorrow, we remember. Eom alei rakamim, shochin bamaromim, hametzei menucha nechona al kanfei hashechina. במעלות קדושים וטהורים, כזוהר הרקיע מסירים את כל הנשמות שהלכו לעולמם. בעבור שבלי נדר, אנו ניתן צדקה בעד הזכרת נשמותיהם, וגן עדן תהי מנוחתם. וכן בעל הרחמים יסתירים בסתר כנפיו לעולמים, ויצרור בצור החיים את נשמותיהם. אדוני הוא נחלתם, ינוחו בשלום על משכבותיהם, ונאמר אמן. God, full of mercy, who dwells on high, grant fitting rest on the wings of the Divine Presence, in the heights of the holy and the pure, who shine like the radiance of heaven, to all the souls who have gone to their eternal home. And to this we pledge, without formal vow, to give charity in their memory. May their resting place be in the Garden of Eden. Therefore, Master of Compassion, shelter them in the shadow of your wings forever, and bind their souls in the bond of everlasting life. The Lord is their heritage. May they rest in peace. And let us say, Amen. We continue with a poem by Chana Senesh, the brave Hungarian Jewish paratrooper who rescued fellow Jews during the Holocaust. Though her young life was tragically cut short, she remains a symbol of hope and the promise of a better tomorrow. There are stars up above, so far away we only see their light, long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people whom we love. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. We remember our loved ones, by repeating their words of wisdom, speaking of their good deeds, teaching their Torah. 
living their values, cherishing their traditions, ensuring their legacies, saying their names with love, allowing them to be our guiding lights. These are the ways we remember. At this time, we'll recite as we remember them. At the rising of the sun and at its going down, we remember them. At the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. At the opening of the buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. At the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. At the beginning of the year and at its end, we remember them. As long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joy we crave to share, we remember them. When we have decisions that are difficult to make, we remember them. When we have achievements that are based on theirs, we remember them. As long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. When we leave a place of mourning, the traditional blessing that we offer one another is may God comfort you among the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. Hamakom yinachem elchem betoshar avileit Zion v'Yerushalayim. The name for God in this blessing is Hamakom, which means the place. It's significant that we are comforted by a God who is called the place. Of course, this name for God does not refer to an area where we are physically assembled, but to a concept that we are bound together by our grief under one divine shelter. Although we are scattered throughout the world, we are brought together in Hamakom, in God, in the place. This blessing is a reminder that we are not alone in grief. We are part of a community of mourners. We are among the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. Our community encompasses every individual who grieves and our people as a whole. As a community, we grieve the national crises, the pandemics, and our communal losses. Together, we also grieve our individual losses, the death of family and friends, and the loss of time spent together. During these holy days, we are not all in one room, but we are in one place. We are united under a spiritual umbrella united as a people, united by our common humanity. On these holy days, we might be more cognizant of the ways that we are spread around the country and the world. But because of Hamakom, we are gathered together in one sacred space. On these holy days, we might feel isolated, but because of Hamakom, we are not alone. May this year be a sweet year, a good year, and a year during which you find comfort wherever you are under the canopy of a holy place. Let this be God's will. Ken Yehiratzon. Shana Tovah Umetukah.